I love old bits of furniture, but this old thing's seen better days. I picked it up on Facebook Marketplace for about 20 quid. So instead of keeping it as it is, I'm going to turn it into this. A freaking awesome Batman set of drawers. Hi, I'm Rich. This is Triple Dog Workshop. So first up, I start by taking off all the hardware. Now this thing was filthy, so before I could start sanding, I had to give it a good clean all over. So now it's time to break out the sander. So I haven't finished all the sanding yet, but we'll get back to that in a minute because I've just bought myself a secondhand air compressor and it comes with a spray gun and I really want to use it on this project. So I'm sacking off the sanding to mask up the drawers and spray some paint. So this isn't going to plan because I can't seem to get an even flow of paint coming out the spray gun. I thought the gun might work better if it was spraying parallel, but it didn't. Well, as you can see, that wasn't all that successful, was it? So I've clearly got a little bit more to learn about these things. While I do that, I'm going to carry on with the sanding. As much as I want to use my spray gun, I also want to get this project finished. So I'm going to put the primer on the old fashioned way. So we're at the two minute mark of this video and if you're still with me then thanks for sticking around. Could I maybe ask you to consider subscribing? Because it would really help grow the channel and I'd be very grateful. Thanks for watching. So that's all the priming done, so we're going to move on to the black. I've given up on my spray gun, I'm going to keep it the old fashioned way. So I'm going with this uh, matte furniture paint in a black sand, don't you know? And by the looks of the tin, I didn't need to do any of the priming, but anyway, we've done it now. So we're all painted up, this is the black sand colour that I was talking about. Not what I was expecting, I have to be honest, and I'm not overly keen on it, but we are where we are. I've also put a, a poly coat on there as well. I used my spray gun for that. Waste of time, didn't work. So I've had to rub it all back and do it the old fashioned way. But we are now ready to mask up the doors for the logo. So I've just looked back at the footage and I really don't like this color. It does need to be a bit blacker than that. So Q, rub down and start again montage. Having completed the repainting of the cabinet and feeling a whole lot better with the darker colour, I can now start masking it up. I've not used this masking film stuff before, but it's ideal for this sort of thing. Because I want the logo to sit seamlessly across both drawers, I need to paint them in situ. Using a stencil, I roughly mark out where the logo should go, and once I'm happy with the position, I go over it again with pen. Using a rotating scalpel, I go around the logo and then I can remove all the bits I don't need. Using this pinstriper tape, I can sharpen up any rough edges. And then after some light scuffing, we're ready to paint. So 
So welcome to the Triple Dog Paint Shop, basically the shed at the end of the garden. This is where I do all my artwork, which is basically throwing paint, which is much of what we're gonna be doing today. So we're all masked up, ready to go. I'm using two shades of yellow, one darker, one lighter, and hopefully that'll give us a bit of depth. Let's make some mess. So the yellow's all dry, so I've moved it back into the workshop so we can try and finish it off. It has cracked a bit, and I think that's probably something to do with the amount of paint that was on there and drying temperatures and what have you. Um, but it's no biggie, in fact, I think actually it adds to it. So next up is to remove all this masking tape and see what we've got. So some of the yellow paint has made it through the masking. Um, that's not unusual when I've done this sort of thing before, but frustrating nonetheless. Unfortunately, also some of the masking tape has taken off the uh, black paint and we've gone right back to wood. So there is some uh, touching up to be done, but on the whole, I'm really pleased with the shape and how that's sitting there. So um, it's not all bad. Wow, all that touching up was a bit fiddly, but we're done. So the only thing left to do now is to get a protective coat on it and get the hardware back on. And there we are, all finished. So that's a wrap on this one. And I have to say, I've got a whole new respect for these furniture upcyclers. I expected to knock this out in a couple of days, but actually it took me a whole lot longer than that. However, it is a vast improvement and I think it'd make a worthy addition in Wayne Manor, something for Batman to put his pants in. Thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next one. And don't forget to stick around for the bloopers. Right, what's next? As, a, as much as I want, the paint I'm going for is this uh, Rustilium is that how you pronounce it? Mm. And I think it'd make a worthy addition in black box. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And if you want to see some more stuff from Triple Dog Workshop, there's a playlist right here.